So recently I have posted a YouTube community post that I have updated my computer to Windows 11 and here it is, it's a, it's actually a Windows 11, it's on the Windows 10 as you can see. Wait, what? Yeah, I somehow have a Windows 10 style. How the hell did that even happen? Well, simply enough, it's a thing called Explore Patcher. It's not really a thing that's basically adding stuff, rather actually replacing the uh, Windows 11 uh, taskbar style into the Windows 11 one. So, yeah. And because of this, there's too many leftovers of uh, Windows 10 user interface. And so, if you have upgraded to your computer to Windows 11 and you can't be used to fucking Windows 11 user interface style, Here's my a little tutorial. Now, I know it's not a game related video, so yeah, it, it is fine. It's going to be a one and last video for this. So I'm going to open one program called Windows Sandbox. Basically, basically, basically a uh, temporary virtual machine. So this is how Windows 11 user interface looks like. It looks beautiful, it looks pretty simple. Talking about the fucking center thought menu, which I fucking get annoying by. And yeah, it's pretty in interesting, unless it encounters some things that you would maybe get used to Windows 10 ones. Uh, the first one, let me show this, is opening a task manager from using a, using a taskbar. So you right click on a taskbar in Windows 10, and you go to a task manager, boom. That's really simple. In Windows 11 though, you have access only to taskbar settings. That's the only thing. To access the task manager, you go to the start menu, all apps, all apps I said, system tools, and here's the task manager, boom, task manager. Second one is this thing right here. I really don't like it, and it's really hard to use this thing if you want to play all music and put it in, like in a one temporary uh, playlist. You probably already noticed I have music shortcut and it goes to a folder somewhere in my computer with full of my music. There's a thing called music tools. So you press that, you have options to play. If it's selected one, you can play. You can add it to playlist, but it's going to open the media center and play all. I'm going to choose the play all and here though it's pretty hard to use it. And the last thing, context menu. Just to show you how it looks like in Windows 10, this is how it's supposed to look like. Really simple, really understandable and well, really easy I would say. But here it's just simply not good for me. Now how do we make the Windows 10 user interface to come back. Do this by downloading an export patcher. You're supposed to actually go to this GitHub. Are you going there? And uh, you have this page right here. Now you go a little bit down and search for releases. Now you have this. And then you go down and search for the EP setup.exe. Press that. And it's going to start downloading. And now look what happens. If I press, if I press on it, something happens, but don't worry, it's not going to destroy anything, because it's going to come back, and here we go. Now we have a Windows 10 uh, taskbar, but we still have uh, the start menu from Windows 11, and we still have the same, same looking... Um, context menu and still we have this thing so how do we fix this pretty easy you go to the new taskbar right click on it and then properties you now should you have this new window right here you can change absolutely everything you want and most of these settings are basically the same you will find in windows 10 so it's going to be really really similar so you can hide search and task view here we go and you can change for example I don't want to see the names on there so I can uh, I can show 
Hang on, where is it? Always combine, and here we go. I don't have names, I don't, I just have the icons on here. I can change the size of the icons. I can go to small, it's now small. I can go large, I can go large. Pretty simple, and yeah, that's the thing. We have a scented start menu though, that's pretty strange. But to fix this, we go to same properties window and go to start menu. From here, we can actually modify this menu. So, to change this, we go to Start Menu Style, to Windows 10, and Position on Screen, at Screen Edge. Boom! Now we have Windows 10 Start Screen. Now, we can uh, modify this, we can, for example, put the color preference. For example, we can put a docked menu, which will basically make corners around it. Or we can go with floating menu just like in Windows 11. Next is the context menu. It's pretty simple to change, it's just one setting. So you go to File Explorer and then you search for Disable the Windows 11 context menu. You press on that and uh, well it's still looking like this but you have to actually press Restart File Explorer, it will restart it and once you press the save right mouse button Boom, now you have the same Windows 10 looking context menu you used to. And the last thing you, you have to modify is this menu right here, Common Bar. Pretty simple to change as well, it's also in a, star, in a file explorer, it's in a control interface. Press on that and you can change either Windows 10 ribbon, which is the one that Windows 10 uses, or Windows 8, or you can go with 7 Common Bar, which basically removes all of them and Keeps nothing. I'm gonna go with a Windows 10 ribbon and now we start the file explorer again. You open it again and boom now you have the same exact uh, file explorer you would have in Windows 10. You have the same bar that's pretty pretty useful enough. I usually use this for many stuff so um, yeah. And that's pretty much all, we, all you all you want. There's many other settings you can actually do on this but it's our only optional thing. I don't really change these most of the settings, so yeah. So you probably now understand how to change the interface, so it will like look like exactly the same as mine. And also, some people may actually ask me, does the teams work for this? In the default control panel settings, work for this? Well, guess what? They actually work. It is possible to change them. Look at this. Taskbar changes. That's pretty cool, and it's really interesting that it's basically really returning the same functionalities in Windows 10 back to Windows 11. That's pretty cool. Thanks for watching, guys, and, well, you know, what to do. Staying safe.